Hi Gemini, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading for September 5th to the 11th. I'm going to pull a four-card spread and peek on the bottom with the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann Donnelly. So the first card is a situation. Second card is you. Third is surrounding. Fourth is the outcome. And then I peek on the bottom for the underlying energy. I'm going to give it a good shuffle and then if it takes too long, I will cut the deck. This is for Gemini, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For September 5th to the 11th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For September 5th to the 11th, please. Can we get a four-card spread? First card is the situation. Second card is Gemini. Third is surrounding. Fourth is the outcome. And then on the bottom is the underlying energy. Can we get a card, please? For Gemini, so can we get a read for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th, please? Can we get a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th, please? Can we get a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th, please? Okay, I'm going to sh stop the shuffle. All right. There we go. All right. So the first card is the situation. Six of cups. Six of emotions. You right now, ten of emotions. Beautiful. <clears throat> Around you, night of inspiration. Outcome, nine of voices. On the bottom, hanged muse. So six of emotions is a situation. This is missing someone. Um, you see here, this person is looking to their younger self. Six of Cups sometimes happens when you have to heal your inner child. But on a higher vibration, <clears throat> with this Ten of Cups, you being emotionally fulfilled and around you, this Knight of Wands inspiration, Six of Cups can be a reunion with someone from your past, from your hometown. Um, this is all about that younger days happier times, simpler times kind of energy. So Six of Cups in this reading, it looks like it's more of a, if it's not missing your childhood or um, having, you know, inner child issues, if it's not about that, it could be about reunion with someone from your hometown or from your past, okay? Thinking about them. But you right now, 10 of emotions, this is happiness. You're happy. You're fulfilled. You have everything that makes like life is good. Okay. For 10 of cups to be this happy. It doesn't mean everything is perfect, but it means you're emotionally fulfilled with a 10 of cups. You found your joy. Why? Because around you too, night of inspiration. It's a very passionate card. This is a card of um, vitality. This is that sexy energy. This is someone who's a super attractive. This is someone who could be in their late 20s, early 30s. Very um, passionate. Someone who is exciting to be around. Magnetic, like, magnetic personality. This is um, being inspired. Going after what you want. The Knight of Wands is a fabulous card for, you know, being excited about life. You're happy and you're excited about life. And you're wanting to go on adventures and experience things. It's a very action-oriented, passionate card. Knight of Wands also is not a very, um, what is it, committed card. Okay? This could be like going after what you want. When you're there, you're all in and you're passionate about it. But, you know, it it's hard to stay that inspired or that passionate about something at that level. So, it does fizzle out at times, right? And when it does, you know, then you're on to the next thing, okay? Uh, in the outcome, you got nine of voices or nine of swords. It looks like there's something on your mind that when you're sleeping, you dream about it or you think about it, that it's caused you stress. It's disturbing your peace. This is a card of nightmares, restless sleep. You see this person in the clouds, like resting, and there's all this energy that this person's sending out that's creating stress. So it could be, you know, you've got something going on that is going to cause you some mental, you know, stress, gossip, 
you know, something that makes you occupy your time because it's like that BS of other people. And, you know, maybe it's jealousy too, you know, because of what you're happy and you're going after what you want. The hanged muse is the underlying energy. This is a card of sacrifice, feeling stuck, staying somewhere because, you know, it benefits others. Also, this is a card of um, when yogis do uh, different types of um, offerings in terms of asceticism, um, you know, making offerings to different deities by standing on one leg or, um, you know, all different types of things, sitting in one place for a long time, you know, not eating or whatever. This can also be a card of some kind of sacrifice in that way for a spiritual like level up here. I don't know. We'll just see. I like to take a peek at the next two cards underneath. Page of Cups, Four of Cups. Okay, so Four of Cups, don't even sweat it because honestly, my revelation has been I keep getting this card for everybody. Why? Because this is not even about something deep, I feel like. This is bored because of social distancing. Okay, everybody is locked up in their homes, barely have masks everywhere. So this is, you know, the big cup. Life is good. Your cup is full. It's holding up your life. But the three cups, which is a very social card, is just missing that. So missing that social aspect of how things used to be. Maybe that's what's going on here, okay? Page of Cups is uh, a sweet, endearing child. If you don't have a child, if it's not about that, then it could be an offer, a text, a phone call, something um, that relays a message that is heart-centered, that is, you know, of emotions. So maybe you get a message, a phone call or something, some information that is um, making you feel a certain way back to those kind of, you know, lovely times. All right. This seems like a mild read. No big deal. Nothing tragic. Let me pull some quick oracle cards. This is the Botanical Inspirations by Lynn Arujo. Can we get a card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th, please? Can we get a card? You know, I'm just going to say I love these earphones and using the earphone mic because... My neighbors are so noisy that when I use these earphones, it just blocks everything out. And you guys don't have to hear it either. Yay. All right. Back to Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th. There we go. Primrose. Youthful love. If I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. Claudia Adrienne Grandi. That's beautiful. Look at that. See, it's missing. Youthful love, right? All right. On the bottom, Iris. Rainbows and messages. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. I'm going to leave that over here. So it's missing. That's sweet. That's very cute. All right. This is a... Uh, Elena Fairchild's Wild Kuan Yin Pocketbook Edition, the mini. I have the larger one as well. Oh, there we go. See, look at that. This card always delivers. All right. Grace carries you home. At the end of your efforts, when you, your resources are exhausted and you are without further recourse, I am there for you with loving wild grace to carry you home. And this is the picture. Isn't that lovely? And there's a little baby act there as well. So sweet. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Now, let's pick some love oracle cards because everybody wants those. This is Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. I'm going to start ordering some more love oracle decks because I'm going to get back with the love readings. All right, this is, I'm trying not to be the Knight of Wands with my tarot, you know. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th. What's going on in love and romance? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For September 5th to the 11th, please. What's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, now I just... This could be, you know, you're missing somebody from your past. That youthful love. You're happy right now, but, you know, you're getting... You're in this passionate energy. So whatever it is, you know, being in something, sacrificing 
Sometimes that comes up when you're already in a relationship. So however this manifests, if you run toward this, it's going to cause some drama. All right. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, right? There we go. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. On the bottom, release your ex. See? 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 All right. The time has come to clear your energy. See this person who already has a family and needing to release. Now, when they say release your ex and the time has come to clear your energy, they're like, you need to go whole hog with that. Take those letters they sent you or whatever, burn them. That's how far they go. Okay. Let me read it to you though. Release your ex. You drew this card because you're, look at the drama of it all. Okay. You drew this card because your love life will improve once you emotionally and energetically release your ex lover. The benefits of doing so include increased happiness, feelings of freedom, and the ability to attract a new lover who would otherwise sense the presence of your ex in your aura. The moment you make the decision to let go of the past, it is done. Sometimes this is akin to peeling layers from the onion, so continue releasing your ex whenever old, familiar feelings arise, or you find yourself attracting people reminiscent of him or her. As the painting on this card depicts, you may want to ceremonially burn a letter to release the old relationship energy and symbolically let go of old feelings. Or you can call upon the romance angels to clear lingering attachments to your ex. So let go of control issues. Let's see that. The romance angels have heard your prayers about your love life. Now it's up to you to allow their help to manifest by trying to, what's it, to manifest by stepping out of their way. By trying to control other people or external circumstances, you'll only frustrate yourself and slow down your answered prayer. There are plenty of times in life that call for you to take charge, but this isn't one of them. Of course, it's fine to have your preferences, practice visualizations, and hold intentions. Definitely ask the angels for your desires. This card is a reminder, however, that your prayers may be answered differently from what you had in mind. Be open to all possibilities and trust in God's infinite wisdom and compassionate love. Control issues are based upon fears that others won't live up to your expectations. This is called outlining where you hand the universe a script of how you want it and everyone to behave outlining could cause you to overlook an even more beautiful way in which your prayers may be answered so please call upon the romance angels to elevate your levels of trust so that you can enjoy the creative avenues by which true love comes to you beautiful and now let's get some little bit of you know native spirit guidance this is by uh, denise lynn this is the final card for the day. Can we get some guidance for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th, please? What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know for September 5th to the 11th? Can we please get a card for them? Can we please get a card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th to the 11th? What is going on for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 5th, 11th. Okay. Walking in beauty. I love this card. It's so lovely. All right. Let's leave that over here. All right. And on the bottom, Thunder Drum. But I'm not reading two because these are very long. And I have other readings to do, but you can look it up. It's Thunder Drum. And it is the Native Spirit Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. If you Google it, you can get the meanings of these cards, okay? So walking in beauty, it says, Radiant beauty surrounds you. You're beautiful inside and out. No matter what your age, your grace is growing, being in balance. As you walk in beauty and feel gratitude for it, your life will be filled with immense splendor whenever you can spend time in natural wild spaces as you see and hear and feel beauty around you your own beauty will grow your native spirit wants you to know in native american traditions there's the concept of walking in beauty it's called hojo nasha in the navajo Diné tradition and it means being in balance with a natural way of life 
when we are in the right relationship with the natural world around us, oops, I almost burned that, um, we are walking in beauty. The more you sense and see beauty around you in your environment, yourself, and your body, the more it will fill your life in all forms. Never say anything about yourself or your body that's negative. Don't put yourself down or others. Instead, affirm beauty and take time to adorn your body and personal space. Walk in nature and inhale the beauty of every part of our wonderful planet. Cherish yourself and the luminescence within you and you will glow. The journey. Create outer harmony in your home environment, even in small ways such as a vase of flowers, a scented candle, or clean windows. And your inner grace and radiance will begin to shine even more brightly. Wherever you go, look for beauty in your surroundings. And as a result, the world will become more beautiful. All right, that was your cards, Gemini, for September 5th to the 11th. Check back in closer to the 11th, and I will have your next week's readings up. Next week's readings up. Yeah, reading up. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Talk to you later. Bye for now.